When you were a youngster, and you were eating sweets, your parents probably told you, stop eating so much candy, or you'll get diabetes. Or was it just my parents? Anyway, not many people know what diabetes is or what causes it. The cause of type 1 diabetes is unknown. However, it is well known that your immune system, which is generally responsible for fighting harmful bacteria and viruses, attacks and destroys the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas isn't normal. As a result, little or no insulin is produced. So, what is insulin, exactly? Diabetes is caused by a shortage of insulin, which regulates glucose in the blood. But did you know there are different types of diabetes? Yes, you heard that right. Type 1 and type 2 diabetes exist, and it was long thought that ingesting too much sugar may cause diabetes. Although some studies have discovered that diabetes has a genetic component in general, there must also be a trigger that genetic risk into diabetes. Obesity and an inactive lifestyle are to blame for type 2 diabetes, which accounts for 90% of diabetes cases in the United States. Regardless, both types are dangerous, but they share one thing in common, an excess of glucose in the blood. Surprisingly, few people know that our bodies produce glucose by breaking down the carbs we eat and drink, which are subsequently released into our bloodstream. A healthy human body releases the appropriate quantity of insulin, allowing the proper amount of glucose to enter the cells, but, when a person has diabetes, this system does not function properly. As a result, the human body cannot produce any insulin in type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, is a different story. Your body's insulin isn't working properly, or you're not producing enough of it. When glucose can't get into your cells, it builds up in your blood, and too much glucose in your blood might create serious complications. When it comes to diabetes symptoms like frequent bathroom visits, your body attempts to lower blood sugar levels by flushing away the excess sugar in your blood. Furthermore, because the sugar in your blood can't get into your cells to turn it into energy, you'll be extremely thirsty and fatigued, and your body will try to break down its fat stores instead. In this instance, you can find that you're losing weight without even realizing it. Furthermore, you may lose weight, get infections such as thrush, or have genital itching due to your wee containing a lot of sugar from your blood, which can produce an environment conducive to fungal infections. Another symptom is slow wound healing due to high blood sugar levels, restricting nutrients and oxygen. High glucose levels in the blood can harm your heart, feet, and kidneys over time, as well as blurring your vision when blood sugar builds up and makes it difficult to see. These are also known as diabetic complications. However, people can live a healthy life with the correct treatment and care. The symptoms of type 1 diabetes can be more noticeable and develop more quickly, for example, over a few days or weeks. Type 2 diabetes symptoms develop more slowly, and some people may not have any symptoms at all. This is why some people can go years without realizing they have type 2 diabetes. Receiving a diagnosis can be the first step toward receiving the treatment and support you to begin living well with diabetes as soon as possible. Because there is always a light of hope at the end of the tunnel, studies reveal that some people can reverse it while there is no cure for type 2 diabetes. You might be wondering how to reverse diabetes. First, of course, by changing one's lifestyle. You might achieve and maintain normal blood sugar levels without medication if you adjust your diet and lose weight. However, because type 2 diabetes is a chronic disease, this does not mean you are totally cured. So, how can this sickness be reversed, or how can you prevent it if it runs in your family? Here are some foods that may assist you to avoid developing diabetes. To begin, avoid starchy foods such as rice, white bread, and pasta. Nevertheless, consuming these foods in moderation won't affect you much. There are numerous options, such as using brown rice instead of white rice and brown bread instead of white bread. Avocados are the first food to eat to help avoid diabetes. According to research, this is because avocados have a unique fat molecule that decreases insulin resistance. As a result, avocados can be a great nutritious snack for people who have diabetes or are attempting to avoid it. We have berries for number two. Polyphenols included in berries aid in reducing blood sugar levels after meals. According to a study published in the British Journal of Nutrition, berries can help you increase your insulin sensitivity and resistance. 
Cranberries and strawberries are two of the greatest foods to eat if you have diabetes. Broccoli sprouts are number three. Broccoli sprouts are broccoli seeds that sprout into microgreens. According to research, the sulforaphane in broccoli sprouts can reduce blood glucose levels by up to 10%, and it's a low-carb veggie high in magnesium and vitamin C. Chia seeds are number four on the list. Chia seeds are high in fiber and low in digestible carbohydrates, making them a great meal choice for people with diabetes. Chia consumption is beneficial for glycemic control and weight management, according to a 2017 study published in Nutrition Metabolism and Cardiovascular Disease. We have eggs as number five. Because eggs are high in fat and low in carbohydrates, they are an ideal meal choice for people at risk of diabetes. Furthermore, according to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2019, eating high-fat, low-carb breakfasts like eggs helps balance your glucose levels throughout the day. We have Greek yogurt as number six. Because it is high in proteins and calcium, Greek yogurt is one of the finest dairy options for people to avoid diabetes. In addition, a 2014 study published in BMC Medicine found that eating a lot of yogurts lowers your risk of type 2 diabetes. We have leafy greens at number 7. Leafy greens have little digestible carbohydrates, so eating a lot of them won't have a big impact on your blood sugar levels. They're also high in vitamin C, which is important for lowering your risk of type 2 diabetes and the severity of typically connected to diseases. Nuts are number 8. Nuts are high in phytochemicals, fatty acids, antioxidants, and minerals, all of which can help lower your risk of type 2 diabetes. This was discovered in a 2014 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, which found that, in addition to diabetes, nuts can help reduce your risk of stroke and heart disease. We have oatmeal at number 9. Oatmeal is a great dinner choice because it has a low GI score despite being rather filling. Furthermore, a study published in 2015 by Nutrients revealed that oatmeal is beneficial for lowering cholesterol levels and glucose levels. To reap the benefits of this healthy dish, avoid adding too much sugar. Whole wheat bread is number 10 on our list of foods that can help you avoid diabetes. It may come as a surprise to some, but ancient grains like rye, spelt, and emmer is effective for avoiding or delaying the development of type 2 diabetes, according to a study published in the Review of Diabetic Studies in 2014. Whole wheat bread also has a low GI, making it an excellent meal choice. These 10 best foods for diabetes prevention are low cost and simple to incorporate into your everyday meals. You could even eat more of these meals while avoiding the items that are already harmful to you. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications for more similar videos. If you'd like, you may also share this video with a loved one to keep them safe. Take care, and I'll see you soon.